Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where last time we were about to cut the five degree taper onto our cylinder head so that the tapered ring would fit into the head nicely just like so. So after a little bit of calculation and drawing and working out and behind me a little bit of setting up we've completed that operation. So we've had to lock the cross slide with a clamp. We managed to get the top slide round to put, to do the five degrees and then attach this on to put the cut on with a DTI to measure how far the cut was going. So that referring back to the diagram behind me, here we could work out exactly how far to travel in this direction using that, that dial gauge to uh, get the right depth of the cut and I'm very pleased to say back over here that while you can't readily see that that is a tapered groove there the broken ring that we have with a taper on it fits into there really quite nicely there's no slap backwards and forwards and there it is in the groove just like on the standard cylinder head so we're very pleased about that well done mr bob next job is to drill the holes around here and clean up this bottom end and we'll drop it into the bike and see if the dinostar will turn it over uh, wishful thinking perhaps even at five to one compression because you've got to compress nearly three liters of volume in one go but we'll give it a, a crack and if that works great if not then we'll carry on and fit our big decompressor and take it from there so a lot of setting up on this job quite a tricky operation just to do a very very small cut at the five degree taper but it had to be done because the the rings that we use have got a taper groove on them so um that's it for today, but we've got the weekend ahead of us. It's only Friday, so fantastic. As usual, thank you for watching and more updates will follow.